When we left off last week, we were getting ready to catch our bus from Konya to Antalya. Well, good morning. Ready to go? I already talked about the name of our bus company last week, so I'm not going... Yep, I'm, I'm definitely going to mention it again. Are you four? Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Well, so far, it's a good seat. Got a big window. Onboard entertainment, plenty of foot room. The storage space is a little to be desired, but overall, a very comfortable ride. The bus ride ended up being absolutely beautiful. It was flatlands and then into the snowy mountains. About 30 minutes into the bus ride, this little girl uh, row up from us decided that after all the sodas and the cookies that her mom had given her, that it was time to puke. <laughs> so she puked all over herself all on the floor and the, it all ran all the way back and into the poor people that were sitting behind her and soaked their bags like oh no because it's gonna smell yes they had given us just before then some uh nice uh, lemon hand sanitizer so he, he did this all the time bathroom break before we got to Antalya, it was this amazing lush and lots of bananas, which I was surprised by. I guess I didn't know that they grew so many bananas here. As soon as we got to Antalya, we got in a cab. We showed him the address. He pulled away. Not more than a couple minutes later, he goes, do you have a map? I don't know where this is. We showed him the map, exactly where it was. He still didn't know. And so he wanted us to do a navigation. Chris was sitting there with his phone. Go left, go right, straight. But it was the oddest thing in the world to have a cab driver not be able to navigate or do anything. Oh my God, that's the most horrifying story I've ever heard. As soon as we got settled in our apartment, we went out to a wonderful dinner. We just got to here. Where is here? Antalya <laughs> went to our apartment, met our host, and she took us to their restaurant. This place looks really beautiful. We've been on a bus all day. Very interesting trip. I think we're just gonna say, bring us whatever you recommend and just go with it. It's starting out right, they've got bread. Looks like a rat got to this one. And it's really good bread at that. Hey, Ruprecht, what's up with your silverware? Apparently they know me and gave me all knives. I think we ordered about five dishes. Homemade chicken soup. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really good. It's very light. Uh. Thank you. The chicken is that chicken kafka. <laughs> I can't see oh. through the camera. Wow. Oh, really good. And our second, third, and fourth courses have arrived. Mixed raviolis. And she was making them as we were walking in. This is moussaka, a type of meat that I already forgot the name of. Ooh. A dill tomato sauce. You're very rich. Oh, wow. Those are light and creamy. Um, on top, it has a yogurt, a yogurt sauce. That is special. And this is moussaka. Meaty, bell peppery with a um, little bit of a tomato. That's really good. Then we came home and did some laundry. So the apartment is already trashed. Fascinating is a word I use for the unexpected. But here it is. Squeaky door, big bathroom, massive kitchen, washing machine, a cake, a couch, and a comfy bed. And it's finally warm enough that I can wear a dress for the first time in six months. We have a really cool tour planned today, and here's our tour guide right here. Hello! First we're gonna eat, and then I have a whole bunch of different places around town that we're gonna look at. This place we're gonna go to eat is like a cafeteria style place where you point, but I don't remember what the name is and I can't seem to find what type of restaurant this is. So if you know, just leave it in the comment section. Place is right there. Fire and ice. Your hands are your my favorite cat. I got the food. Grab a silver one. And if you want bread, this is my own. Give me one more time. Is she good at them? You should do it. I'll do it also. Give me one more time. 
Hmm. And you have company right there, always. I'm trying the Turkish pasta. Oh, I thought that was Turkish rice. Yeah, it tastes like rice. What? It has a little bit of pasta in it. I am not sure, but that is really good. This is a chicken satay. Mm. I love that, it's so comforting. I was very excited when I saw these. There's rice and cabbage, and then this is yogurt. That's a good combination. I got everything she got plus some. Eggplant. That eggplant yeah. is special. Wow. I love eggplant and every time we've got an eggplant, they cook it perfectly. All of this food costs about $8. So we're gonna get to feasting. No Turkish meal is complete without chai. One of the workers from here came up and explained this. This is called an esna flacant. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Good food at a low price that's for the people that run their shops around here, so they have like a little cafe to go into. So basically, this is our absolute dream location for a meal. So again, great job, Kate. Now, I'm gonna enjoy my chai. Oh, my word, uh, sal, <laughs> which is cheers in Turkish. Well, this place was amazing. Now, we're off to find the old bazaar. Bazaar was a lot of fun. There wasn't too many people, so it was pretty cool to walk through. Very small, but it pretty much had everything you needed. And the people were really sweet. <laughs> Clothing, sweets, and bags. That's everything you need. Later that week, I had a religious experience at Manolo Blahnik. Now we're off to look at some history. <laughs> This is Hadrian's Gate. Named in honor of Emperor Hadrian. Following his visit, built like 100, 150 AD. Parts of the wall still stands, parts of the gate still stand. That's like 1900 years old. This leads into the old town of Antalya. Frisia. I had this in my uh, wedding bouquet. back in Old Town. Realize you didn't see us leave. One of the benefits of staying so close to everything is if you need a bathroom break, you can just go back to your own place. <laughs> We're just looking around Old Town and it is beautiful. This is all these beautiful Ottoman mansions and they're from the Byzantine era. Hundreds of years ago, as you walk around, you can just see how spectacular these are because they're amazing right now. My history is terrible. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't notice my, uh, how long ago was that? Really loving Antalya so far. The food, wow. People are nice, the history, the architecture is great, the style is great, the vibe is great. This little old town area is definitely worth a walk through. We're heading down to the water right now to check out both the ocean view and I believe there is a Roman harbor where they put ships at. There's a lot to offer around here and just a short walk. It's, well, it could be a long walk because the place is huge. I noticed today the days of us having everything to ourselves and no tourists are on the way out, which is a good thing, but at the same time, it has been so much fun the last two years having no one with us and having every place to ourselves. And we're seeing more and more tour groups too, like large groups of tourists being led around by flags and signs. So selfishly, uh, we'll miss the days of being alone. muscles but they're stuffed muscles I'm seeing if he's still here well he's not here and there's an absolute horde of people behind me so we're gonna head this way <laughs> this is perfect what 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 I thought it was mine 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 mine, mine. mine that's right well no muscles but we'll have to try them another day and now we're headed to Hitterlich 
tower. The tower is under construction, but if you come to the viewpoint, you can see it. It's beautiful. The tower's still cool. Yeah. You can see where they're exca excavating. And then right next to it, we're going to go to the park, which is Carl... Blah, 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 blah. The Swedish Chef Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but it's just, you come to the viewpoint right next to it, it's right in front of you, you can't miss it. We're wanting to get in the water. We'll probably go to the beach that's across over there tomorrow, but that's like an hour and a half walk, which probably means a bus ride. But first we need to get some sunscreen, which surprisingly, it's hard to find a good variety. I'll need some before I get into that, uh, yeah. on that sand or this. It's gonna be out of commission for a couple of days. All that. All of this. Well, you know, if we listen to Johnson & Johnson, we could just spread benzene all over us and we'd be good. My job was to make safe sunscreen, too. You make sunscreen. Not safely. There we go. <laughs> all right, up to the park. You know, they really like the octopus sky from Pirates of the Caribbean. He is everywhere. To go find some coffee and we'll see you later on tonight. We've been cheating on you guys a little bit because we had the most amazing dinner last night. It was called a PIDA. P-I-D, that's not our bus. No. Okay. <laughs> P-I-D-E, kind of like a oblong pizza. We're gonna have to video one of those for you because they're incredibly good. Today we are heading off to some waterfalls. Juden? Sure. Dude, dude. Student Waterfalls, we are about to hop on a bus. We've got our new transport cards. We figured out that we thought we bought the rechargeable ones. We didn't, so hey, you know, live and learn. We thought we were getting on a bus, but we got on a van. <laughs> you need to signal for your stop. <laughs> Good thing we had Google Maps because I couldn't read any of the signs. There wasn't anything really posted, but every stop was on my Google Maps, which was nice because we had signal. Now we're just trying to find the entrance. It's around here somewhere. Always a good sign when you start seeing restaurants, vendors. The occasional camel. And a parking lot. I think we're heading the right direction. There's a giant Turkish flag here that is gorgeous. I thought we were just gonna be walking out on a path into the forest. This thing is pretty well put together. There's all sorts of stuff around. person that's 66 cents the cave from the bottom when you have to walk up the cave trail that's pretty nice oh and don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps us so we're gonna sit here for a little while and then attempt to figure out how to get back with no signal because i don't have any signal on my phone yeah we bought a turk cell sim card we'll talk about that later <laughs> we promised you we'd show you pita and we're gonna show you pita lots of it <laughs> we're at Pachi Simpson. It's right next to where we're staying. Every time we walk past it, it just kept calling us. So finally today we stopped in. Very crispy bread with like a, a tomato sauce on it. Look at Sausage and egg. Really hot. The sausage is um, very, uh, falls apart in your mouth. Oh, and it's spicy. That's really good. And this is Fido. I always like the cheese one, but this time I've been wanting to try it with the egg. Oh, that's really good. That's pretty much just cheese pizza with egg. We have meat, cheese, and peppers. That's, that's 
Really good. And more veggies. This is called lamacoon, and I've been wanting to try it. Oh. It's really thin like a flour tortilla with turkey spices. I don't know how to explain it. But that's really good. The spices hit the back of your throat, but not in a hot way. They don't know how to explain it. This place was wonderful. All of that food that we had came out to 10 USD. Now it's time for a nap. To this day, there's something very freeing about figuring out how to use public transportation and getting that done by ourselves. We went back to the bus station where we came into and we paid a dollar to get up there as opposed to eight dollars that it took for the taxi to go up and get our bus tickets to head off to our next place. That's so where we don't have to take a taxi when we leave. So anyways, that's just an awesome experience. And now it's off to coffee. The Beaver Coffee Shop. This looks great. Not. That's more like it. Well, there was a couple, couple things they didn't have, so we just pointed at the menu and hope they have it. <laughs> I ordered a bean salad and this is what I got. So much for Google Translate. I don't know about the salad, but look at this. It looks delicious. It's a mixed plate. So everything they have is put on one plate. Wow, it's like an okra. It's really good. They do have a bean salad. <laughs> Beans, it's fermented with eggs. It's fantastic. Yes, order the bean salad, which is this on the menu. Very bad. This is a winner. Mm. That was just under $9 with the Coke. While we did manage to get over the beach, I didn't manage to keep from losing all the video. So here's some pictures and take our word for it. We had a wonderful day. For our anniversary dinner, we had great company, terrible sushi, and good chai. But it's still better than Arby's. All wrapped up, headed to on the tram to the bus station to head to Cash. 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 Antalya has been so much fun. The transportation is easy, the walking around, and there's so much to do and so much food. <laughs> the top of everything of our list. Definitely would highly recommend Antalya. And we'll let you know how the bus station goes when we get there. So for now, here's the train. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>